Welcome to the third segment of the 4D animation tutorial series. In this video, we will be producing our 4D animation using the layers built in within Lumion. Now, in order to be prepared for this video, you will need to follow my previous video using the Skydrop effect to understand how to break up our model before importing the pieces into Lumion. Starting off in any scene, we are given five layers at the top and we can add up to 20. And we'll need just about all of these for this first animation. After adding all of the layers, we can start labeling each layer to correspond with every piece in our sequence. I suggest doing this in an order starting with our footings. It's a good idea to leave layer 1 alone. And skipping ahead, we can take a look and see all of the layers labeled appropriately when we're all done. And now we can select and activate each layer and import that piece corresponding to that layer. And now, just skipping ahead, having done all of this, we can just align all of our pieces up together. Each one's corresponding to the layer, and we can test our layers out and see how much easier it will be to work with this model with so many different pieces. Now, this is a good idea if we're going to use a layer effect or we're going to do anything involving a model with so many different parts like this. So now that was the easy part we just got over with. Now it's going to go into programming all of these different layers into our animation. So let's just go ahead and create a quick scene. And as you can see, I've already added a couple effects just, just for myself. We don't can ignore those. The main effects are going to come using the hide layer effect. And this is the only effect I know where you can add multiple. And in this case, we're going to need to add uh, as many layers as we have. So let's just go ahead and add 20. And if we need to erase them, we'll go ahead and, and do that. Now, after we have them all in, we need to start setting the slider to hide each and every layer. And I would recommend doing it in order like, like I'm doing it just here. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to gradually unhide each one of the layers. I think you guys are kind of understanding where this is going. After doing a quick calculation with our 30 second time we have, I figured out we should set up a layer to appear about every 1.5 seconds to keep a consistent flow for all of our layers. Now I'm keyframing each hide layer effect to start on its corresponding layer and then having it jump to layer 20, which will reveal it somewhere in between the two frames I set. And like I mentioned before, as long as we remain moderately consistent, this will work out well and flow nicely with our calculations we set up before. Now you may find that this can be really tedious working with so many layers and height effects, but it's as straightforward as can be. And this might give you appreciation for the skyfall effect, which does this all for us. Now this is officially ready to render. And after we've done all of this work to set up all these layers, we can experiment with multiple camera shots, set them to 30 seconds, and copy and face this entire effect stack and see which ones we like best. So I thought I'd show another method of compiling a different type of 4D animation by blending the layer transition in post-production. And to do this, we would need to copy and paste our entire clip until we have one for each layer. Then basically we can delete one hide layer effect gradually until we have a clip with every piece unhidden. So here you can see the result of fading between all of these different rendered clips. And so it's even more work but it adds some nice smoothness. But here's our original clip we can get directly from Lumion using the layers we set up. Now I'd recommend using layers on all of your projects regardless. And then you could have the organization plus the ability to toggle specific things on and off with the hide layer effect. Layers also help when Lumion starts running slow on larger scenes. There we just set trees or lights to their own layer. And here you're seeing multiple scenes using the same effects we set up in the hide layers just by copying and pasting the entire effect stack over to different clips of the same length. And that is all for this tutorial. I hope you found this beneficial in your workflow. And until next time.